okay now let's look at uh, prom uh, so prom is uh, a programmable read only memory so before going into prom i want to show you what rom means read only memory means you will have a memory from which you can only read okay you can't write into that memory so first i'll uh, show you a circuit uh, made by rom you will see that the, what is the benefit we are getting from rom so half header if i'll try to uh, make from rom 4 cross 2 so it's a combinational circuit i am making uh, from uh, using from 4 cross 2 rom 4 cross 2 means the the sizing is same as P, uh, prom uh, so rom sizing is same as prom so this will be k this will be m so k cross m where k is the number of memory locations in this case you have 4 which can be written as 2 to the power 2 okay this is the reason i will tell you and here you can see how many bits are there per memory location so you have total four memory locations and it is showing two means each memory location will have two bits okay sometimes it is visualized like this so you can see four rows are there 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. that's why i i have used this two so two bit lead to four combination four combination is means four memory locations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 they are addressed as a1 and a0 so if a1 is 0 and a0 is 0 you are accessing this uh, 0 0 location in 0 0 these are the locations where data can be stored okay two only because you have two bits two bits per lo uh, memory location so one memory location per memory location you have two bits okay one bit one bit so similarly another memory location has one bit one bit one bit one bit one bit one bit so these are data bits you th this can be read uh, and uh, these are address bits depending upon which you will choose which location you have to read okay and there are some chip select and read lines they are active low type you can see so chip select means if the signal here you will apply is zero this chip will be selected else if you will apply one it will not be selected okay so whenever you want to uh, use it you have to provide zero here similarly if you want to read it read data from it then you have to provide zero here right so both of them has to be a zero so for example you can connect like this to ground this is cs and this is rd so in that case first thing uh, first uh, signal will do that it will get activated and second signal what it will do it will allow you to read data so if you want to read from this column you use d1 and from this column you use d2 d0 and these are input pins these are output types okay and you have four rows two columns means four cross two rom this is how it is being visualized okay so normal rom now if you want to design this half header you can you you do you remember this is the truth table a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 4 combinations sum is 0 1 1 0 carry 0 0 0 1 okay so you can imagine these thing here so for 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 sum can be this column and carry can be this column okay so i'll write 0 1 1 0 here and triple 0 here so this becomes your half header so, so you can see the, you don't have to use any additional circuitry uh, to design half header you can just to use a 4 cross 2 rom and inside that you can um, you will have memory location 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. and each memory location is having uh, two bits so one bit is this and one bit is this so one is representing one column is representing sum and another is representing carry right so here you can write this is your s this is your carry and these are your input a b okay it's just a simple thing i wanted to show you so whenever you have a rom try to visualize in this fashion okay now based on this uh, let me tell you the prom now okay so let me build build the uh, prom ideology so there this thing will be done by decoder okay and then we will be programming or git to get our functions so let uh, let me uh, show you now now just as an example so we have seen four cross two rom 
now how the four cross two prom will look like this is how it look like okay so you will be having a decoder that will be generating all the min terms you can see a1 and a0 so for all the combination for 0 0 y0 will be active rest all will be deactive for 0 1 y1 will be active rest all will be deactive for uh, 1 0 y y2 will be active and rest all will be deactive and for 1 1 y3 will be active rest all will be deactive right and depending upon the programming here you can do the programming means fusing and depending upon that you can have two functions here d1 and d0 right so just what we have done um uh, for if you want to if you want to realize it for half header for half header let me show you what we have done so in case of half header we had this four min terms okay that is generated by these two guy the decoder and decoder has an enable as well so you have to provide zero here to enable this guy okay so 0 1 1 let's say this is your s and this is your c so how you want to make it you'll uh, do cross here and cross here okay 0 1 1 0 and this was triple 0 1 so this is how it will look like for uh, what we have done and here you can write a and b okay same thing you have decide uh, half header using um, uh, prom okay so it will require d a decoder to generate the min terms and whichever min terms you want in your function you can cross it and uh, you will get the uh, your function required function okay so hopefully you are able to see uh, uh, how we going to design function from uh, prom and how it is uh, programmable uh, or it is programmable here right so this is prom uh, one more thing i want you to focus here is uh, for four cross two prom you required two cross four decoder Okay, four cross two prom. You require two cross four decoder. So in general, you can say two to the power n cross m prom will require m cross two to the power n decoder. Just a reverse of it. Okay, so four cross two, two cross four. So similarly, two to the power n cross m, m cross two to the power n. Right. So this you have to remember. Now we will be designing function, different functions. Uh, so that you will get much better picture. We'll be taking bigger examples. Okay. Okay. Let's see an example here. Implement a function whose min terms are given one five four six using eight cross one prom. Okay. So from here you can see that this is your k and this is your m. This represent number of output, right? Or you can say bits per memory location. But you, I also told you that it represents the number of output and this represents the number of min terms okay so if you have that whatever uh, i have showed you last uh, right uh, if you have in this that format you can use it uh, k and m as number of memory locations and mem uh, number of bits per memory location whereas here according to the scenario i am taking it as number of min terms and this is outputs number of outputs So number of min terms is eight means two to the power three I can write eight min terms I can generate by three variables right two to the power three is eight right and this I can write it as one cross one so two to the power three cross one so if I want prom of two to the power three cross one I need decoder of I did a mistake. Yes. So just correct it. Uh, it was uh, uh, where I showed you right. Um, what was it? Two uh, four cross two requires uh, two cross four right a decoder. Uh, this is decoder and this is a uh, prom right. You have to make a correction. It it is. Two to the power n cross m requires n cross two to the power n. That is how it is. So I made a mistake. So just make a correction. Prom requires uh, these many decoders. Okay. So what I did was two to the power n cross m requires m cross two to the power n. That's what I did. Uh, so make a correction. It requires. Uh, 
n across 2 to the power n so instead of m here this place instead of m you need n okay sorry about that uh, sometimes it happens <laughs> so that's what you can see and now it is checked okay so hopefully you will make this correction and uh, i'll continue i'm really sorry about that i apologize to the students <laughs> so you can see here if you will have if you want so this becomes 2 to the power 3 right 2 to the power 3 cross 1 so if you have 2 to the power 3 cross 1 prom you need n cross so 2 to the power n cross m requires n cross 2 to the power n decoders okay so what is your n n is 3 so 3 cross 2 to the power 3 that is 3 cross 8 decoder you will require this is what i made here okay so i made a little mistake hopefully you will be not be angry of me so uh, this is how i calculated that why i require 3 cross 8 decoder okay and i have one output that will represent this f which i have here okay enable is connected to zero so it is active and you can imagine a b c is the three inputs because you can see uh, the min terms are having more than uh, uh, four right it means like number is six six highest is the six number so min terms six you will only have when three input variables will be there consider a is msb so you are getting each of them for each min term you are getting one okay so for um, uh, 0 0 0 this guy will be 1 rest of 0 0 0 1 this guy will be 1 rest of them will be 0 right why do 0 1 0 this guy will be 1 and rest of them will be 0 likewise this is 1 1 1 1 1 0 for 1 1 1 0 input uh, for, for 1 1 0 input y6 will be 1 rest of them will be 0 right so you can see what are the min terms 1 5 4 and 6 so 0 1 2 3 0 1 1 is there i'll make a cross 2 3 4 5 is there then 4 is there right and 6 is there so i'll cross it this is how i programmed it and it is going to org it will be getting f what does this mean is this is what uh, 0 0 1 right so a b c bar this is what uh, 1 0 0 so a b bar c bar oops 0 0 1 0 0 1 right so bar bar 1 then uh, 1 0 0 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 so all these are added uh, and you are getting f is equal to a bar b bar c plus a b bar c bar plus a b bar c plus a b c bar this is how you are getting function f okay so this is the way you you design the prom if you want to see uh, in a way that we have done in pal now i am going to show you the circuit uh, how you can implement in that fashion okay so this is a, a, a way approach using decoder using decoder and uh, another approach is uh, by using simple uh, end or gates okay, that we will be seeing now so this is the approach you can do it here that is only in prom and uh, you can also have and or approach that i'll be showing you now okay now i want to show you how it looks like when you will draw in that fashion using and or gates so you can see here uh, the difference uh, you have a b a b c a bar b bar c bar lines but this time what you can see and gates are fixed they are permanently connected so each and terms is giving you each min terms okay so this is fixed so here you will having you are having fixed number of and gates and that depends upon how many maximum min terms what do you need you need three variables right three variables uh, will produce eight min terms so total eight and gates are there all of them are producing each min terms okay so you can see a bar b bar c bar a bar b bar c bar a bar b c a bar b c sorry a bar b bar c then a bar b c bar 
a bar b c bar then you have a bar b c a bar b c then you have a b bar c bar a b bar c bar a b bar c a b bar c a b c bar a b c bar and a b c a b c okay so they are permanently connected you are not programming it that's the difference between prom and pal in prom you have or gate programmable not and gate and gate is fixed whereas in pal you saw that and gate was programmable or gate was not or gate was fixed right when you are getting the min terms like this so you just have to connect the a bar b buses so this is 0 0 0 and this is 1 1 1 all the eight min terms has been produced because of three variables and you 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 saw that three variables are required because you saw in the min term uh, given that uh, six is what i we need maximum that can be achieved with three variables only now you finish the 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 design you can make programmable or get how you gonna make it just draw a line draw a line right and uh, you call it f and you cross it where you want so you want at 1 0 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 then 5 and 6 so this will be your function this okay so there are two ways i showed you one is using decoder and one is using without decoder okay this will be the always be fixed in case of program prom because Uh, that depends upon how uh, what is the maximum min term you want in your function, and that decides the number of variables. And when the one number of variables will be decided, the min terms will be decided, and accordingly, AND gates are uh, decided. So these are permanently connected. But here you can see you have fused it. So this is what you are programming, and you this is not you are programming. So it becomes programmable OR gate type. Okay. Hopefully you are able to see, and you can design any function. Uh, again, you can see with uh, uh, combinational any combinational circuit you can design with this. Okay, so let's take another example. 